welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves us with a true agape love. He wants to pour that love in our heart, write it on our mind, and keep our heart and mind in perfect peace. <laughs> because he loves us. That's how simple that is. He loves us with a true love, an unconditional love, a love that goes down deep on the inside of you and heals everything. He heals the hurt. He takes away the sin. He blots out our transgressions. He gives us a new heart, a new mind, a, a, let's say a new spirit, a new mind. He gives us his strength. It's such a trade-off. You get to lay down all your burdens, all your cares, all the hurt and all the trouble of this life and walk in the all agape love of God. You get to become love like he is. That's what he wants. He, he wants us to become what he always intended us to be. He made us in his image, in the image of God, the Elohim. He made us in the image of what he, I want to say what he does. God is loving. God is love. And he wants us to love one another. He wants us to be so in him that all this, I mean, all this anger and hurt and misunderstanding is rested because we know that he takes care of all of our needs. He supplies what we need when we need it. Even if in, in this life, we have death and people pass away in our lives and it hurts and we get troubled. But the Lord has, he, he comforts you with this love and he takes you beyond your understanding. He takes you beyond this because see, death is not the final destination we have life and life more abundantly and our job in this world if we still get up this morning breathing walking and and talking is to be that example of salvation that he has brought us the Bible says that we're being changed into the image of the Sun we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind we're, we're coming into the very thing that the Lord wanted us to be when he first said, I will make them, I will make man in my image. You, you, <laughs> he wants us to be in him. And the only way, the only way, <laughs> the only way for us to be like him is to have a relationship with him is to sit down with him and walk with stand up with him and walk with him and talk with him and lean on him and learn of him and rely on him and rest on him and over and over again all day long we have this constant friend who is with us and in us and to us and through us we all share the same spirit of God. We all share the same Jesus. We all share one most high God, Elohim, the, the almighty father of us all, the creator of everything. We all share one, one father, one son, one spirit. So my question is, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? You don't have to go back to the old school song. It's the word that came to me this morning. Because when I was in this, uh, what do you call it, luncheon yesterday, and we're all believers, and this is not well, the only place, just in case the people who know I was there yesterday, but <laughs> this is not the only church I've been to where we have this issue where you look at me and you turn your head away from me like you don't even know me. Well, you might not know me, but we all share 
the same Father, the same Son, the same Spirit. God is making us into one new creation. The Bible talks about this. And I want to I want to get to the to to the to the word about this because look, we don't have time to not love one another the way Christ loves us. We don't have time to to do this at all anymore. Jesus is coming and if we don't love each other the way that he's loving us, how will we know that we will hear his voice when he calls? How do we know that we're going to be caught up in the air with him? I want to be I, I want the world to see the love of God in us. And it's not just me. This is not just some idea that I have. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures from John chapter 17 and verse starting in verse 20 it says, "I pray for these followers, but I'm also praying for all those who will believe in me because of their teaching. Father, I pray that they can be one as you are in me and I am in you. I pray that they can also be one in us. Then the world will believe that you sent me. I have given these people the glory that you gave me so that they can be one just as you and I are one. I will be in them and you will be in me so that they will be completely one. And then the world will know that you sent me and that you have loved them just as you have loved me. Father, verse 24, I want these people that you've that you gave me to be with me where I am. I want them to see my glory, which you gave me be because you loved me before the world was made. Father, you are the one who is good. The world does not know you, but I know you. And these people know you, know that you sent me. I showed them that what you are like, and I will show them again. Then will, then they will have the same love. Then they will have the same love that you have for me. And I will live in them. That's John chapter 17, verse 20 through 26. We are so in God. This is part of one, one of my conversations yesterday at the table that I was sitting at was that we are so in God. We become when we said yes to Christ, we became a part of who He is. No, we are not God Himself. We can never be that, and I, I don't, I don't never want to be that. But I want to be what He has called me to be, and He's called us to be love, love to one another. My question is again, why can't we be friends? I'm reading over here in Colossians chapter two. In chapter 2 and verse 1 is, well, let's go to verse 2. Paul is talking, he's saying that they may be encouraged in heart, knit together in love, and filled with the fruitful riches of complete understanding, so that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom all the hidden in, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I'll put it in the description box, but the Lord wants us to be knit together. He knits us together with love, his love. If we would see him, the Lord Jesus, for who he is and what he's done, if we would see the Father for who he is, we couldn't help but to love each other and never turn our heads away from each other. We couldn't help but embrace each other and leap. Just as John leaped in the belly of his mother when Jesus spoke. We hear each other. We see each other. We know each other. Why can't we be friends? 
This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face. Love God because He loves you, and you are a love. You're created from His image. The very nature of God is coursing in your veins. <laughs> if I could say it like that. The nature of God is in you. When you said yes to Jesus being Lord of your life, you, you, you said no to sinful nature. I don't want to live like that. I don't want sin being master over me anymore. I want to master it. Show me what to do. Show me how to live. Give me your mind, Lord, your way of thinking, and give me your will, Lord God. I cast all of my cares before you. Now we have to learn how to walk like that and stop being envious of one another, prideful and, and jealous, whatever you want to call all of the stuff that we have, judgmental. We're all so full of judgment for one another. Have peace with God. Have peace with God. Have his peace. And rest in the Lord God Almighty. And let's be friends. I love you. Bye-bye.